Hello everybody, welcome to a new subreddit. This week is shitty car mods. Um, so yeah, let's just go down to number 15 and see what this subreddit is all about. Number 15, and the award for best paint goes to... Ooh. <laughs> it looks like he tried to speed up the drying with like a... Uh, like a heat gun or something. Wow. It looks like he's melting his car. Yeah, that's just the worst paint job ever. Uh, number 14. Plus a thousand HP. Yeah. Straight through. Attach it straight to the manifold. Just get the pure horsepower you can. <laughs> that has got to be loud. Oh no, it's on a golf. So it's as loud as a golf can get. It's so big. You can like put like two litre bottles of stuff down there and then just shoot them out. <laughs> like a cannon. It could be, it could be a mortar. Kind of. Yeah, it kind of looks like a mortar barrel. <laughs> right, number 13. To be honest, I'm impressed. Wow, holy hell, that kind of looks like it should be in a church. Hmm, I wonder if the higher it revs, the higher the note gets. See with that, or it's like a harmonica for a car. <laughs> he needs like, they need switches in there that cover up certain pipes, so you can play different tunes on it, like the like pan pipes. Of course it has Datsun on the side of it. Number 12, sick AMG bro. Ah uh, yes, the Volkswagen AMG. Yeah, it's like sticking an M3 badge in your car, isn't it? But kind of have to make sure it's the right make. <laughs> also, just take your car to a car wash. If you want to go through the effort of putting an AMG badge on, you can at least put it through a wash. <laughs> Such a dirty car, unless they found in a dump. Um, if it wasn't a dump, maybe the, the people that run the dump moved the um, badge onto it as like a little joke. But yeah. <laughs> this is sick AMG. Um, number 11. Saw this monster right as I was turning. Jeez, how could you only spot that then? It's... <laughs> at, at least... At least the gold matches the rims. <laughs> and the rims match the gold trim. It's got that going for it. Look at the ground, the ground clearance though is spot on. No problem going any speed bumps on that. Now if that had an AMG badge slapped on it, because it is a Mercedes, it would be a gold AMG badge. <laughs> right, number 10. Shaggy's gotta pay the bill somehow. The meth machine. Um, yeah. Kinda looks like Scooby's got um rabies there. But let's just move on because drugs uh number nine the all-new toyota m3 there you go there you go like as i said like sticking an m3 badge on it <laughs> and they've even changed at least they've changed the um the badge to be a bmw badge as well they could have done that to the golf and put a mercedes badge on it but at least oh the vw <laughs> But at least they went to slightly more effort of changing it to a BMW badge. So, this is a better car mod than the one before. Shame it's on a Prius. <laughs> Number 8. This dickhead was weaving in and out of traffic. <sighs> really? That's a massive tailpipe and it's got the... How can you weave with something so wide? <laughs> I like the addition of thick with two C's on the back windscreen. Oh, Jesus. How is he... How is he weaving in and out of traffic with that thing? How wide of a gap in traffic must there be to fit that wide boy in it? So he's got the extra wing mirrors on there as well, and he's, oh man, he's got a thick exhaust, thick rear axle, I imagine the front as well, because well, you wouldn't usually do a front as well, but imagine he has, and the thick wing mirrors. <laughs> Which look like he slapped wing mirrors on top of wing mirrors on top of wing mirrors. Okay, moving on number seven. The traction must be epic. At least it helps with parking because they're swivel wheels. You can just slide it sideways into a parallel parking space. This looks like the sort of rim that you put on someone's car for a joke. And at least you'll never have a flat. You'll never get a flat tire. So again, perk, perk to those. They're good at parking and you never get a flat tire. <laughs> Number six. Hmm. That's 100% on backwards. Maybe he wants some lift. Maybe. 
Maybe he wants to be able to get the rear end out better. So a little bit more lift instead of downforce, and you'll be able to kick the rear out. <laughs> yeah, because it being on that way, it will be the opposite way, and you'll, it will come up, and yeah, it will give it lift. Nice. There's, there's one way to help you with your drifting. Number five, gave my son our extra car. Two days later, come home to this. Wow. Um, someone's had some fun with the felt tips. So they've got like a beach scene, a river scene. Is that a TARDIS? There's a TARDIS on it. Um, <laughs> is that a Punisher? Okay. <laughs> There's loads of, loads of little Easter eggs on this. Not really the sort of thing that you'd want to find, but still, each of their own. <laughs> okay, number four. It's a Jeep thing, you wouldn't understand. That light bar is slightly in the way of the driver's vision, it's supposed to help. <laughs> Maybe if it's up higher and it'll be better. So even if it's down low, higher light bars are better than lower because otherwise you'd get the shadow of whatever you're driving up to. Compared to higher you get more of a down, more illuminating perspective for the light. So yeah, maybe he's gone for the middle. He's seen people put him above and below, but why not just put it in the middle? Best of both worlds. Yeah, right in eye line, right in front of my eyes. <laughs> right, number three, Cybertruck 1983. Here we go. Yep. Yep. It's kind of like, if you think back to like the Diablo and like old supercars, they are pretty boxy. Maybe the Cybertruck is an homage to it. So yeah, you never know. This could be the inspiration that he had. Other than let's make it look weird and make it into a fashion statement and get free press for spreading around this Marmite of a truck. <laughs> some people love it, some people hate it. Unlike the um, the controversial step that Sonic took for their trailer, <laughs> where it was horrendous. Everyone thought it was horrendous. It spread the all over the internet. But let's not go into how I think that was staged. <laughs> Number two, shitty or useful? It can be useful if there was a tie for holding that handle closed because depending on what vehicle it's on that could easily be knocked open it's not unheard of people putting like small valves on the oil tanks of like trucks and like like diggers because they have to change the oil and it's always in awkward places and they do it a lot and this just makes it a lot easier but maybe not with a tap like this <laughs> something that you can lock shut this can easily be knocked open and just you leave your, all your oil in the track behind you. So good idea, bad execution. <laughs> right, number one, Jesus lives, Jesus lives, found inside a real potato. Yeah. Why would you put that on your window and stop you being able to see out? Although that is like rotten part of being so inside of a potato. See, so Jesus lives, this potato is rotten. <laughs> In this rotten part of dead potato, Jesus lives. If anything, it's a sign that he's dead. <laughs> yeah, if anything, it's the contrary. But if you want to think that that is him living, then fine, go for it. But that has been the top post of shitty car mods. I will see you next week if you liked this new subreddit. Hit the like button, put a comment down below what you liked, which post made you most angry at people and their just mental modding. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to get to see more of these, subscribe and I'll do these every Monday and there'll be a one in your subscription feed next week. If you want to get notified when it goes live, hit the bell next to the subscribe, uh, subscribe button and I will see you then. Goodbye. <laughs>